When I did Saul Goodman on the set at uh, Breaking Bad, people started joking about the uh, spinoff for this character. Because I think he was such a big character. When you first meet him, he takes up a lot of oxygen, you know? And um, so it was a joke that that would be the spinoff. And crew members said, can I work on the spinoff and stuff? And we all laughed about it. And then people would joke about it regularly. And then in my second season at Breaking Bad, which was the third season of Breaking Bad, Vince Gilligan in the hallway said, what do you think about that? And he said, I think there's a show in that character. So it was that early on that um, he was thinking about it. And my answer was, like, if you write it, I'll do it because uh, it's going to be good. And I didn't want any pressure to come from me, you know. So I just said, look, you, you tell me if there's a show there. And then the years went by, and Vince would bring it up fairly often. And then when Breaking Bad ended, I met with Peter Gould and Vince Gilligan, who created Better Call Saul. Peter wrote the first episode that featured Saul Goodman, uh, which was called Better Call Saul. And uh, they, they made up the show, though. I didn't, I didn't help. I am a, a comedy writer, and uh, so I stay fairly busy with that. And um, I never, I enjoyed, uh, you know, talking about it, but it, I didn't feel great pressure to do it or even to want it. But now I'm glad I did it. Uh, and now I would say I'm very happy that I did it. But maybe I've just been in show business a little too long. It was just like, uh, it all. It always was uh, predicated on Vince and Peter having an organic desire to actually make this show and not because we could extend some aspect of Breaking Bad into the world. And and those guys are pretty serious guys, you know? So they don't, they don't do things for uh, shallow reasons. So they, they wanted to do it. They wanted to explore it. Better Call Saul is a lighter show than Breaking Bad was. Obviously the character, at least what we know, does not have a, a disease, uh, you know, he's, he does not have cancer. So that's, that's a start uh, to lighten the, the world up a little bit. Um, but he does have a lot of pressures on him and uh, he's trying to form who he is and, and become somebody that, that people uh, respect. And he's having a real hard time doing it. And then he has a lot of traumas too, because he, the great thing about Saul is he makes all these plots and plans and they're fun to hear and they sound good. But even while you hear them, you think it's not gonna work. And then it's fun to see it go wrong.